Hi, in this video we are going to see about a python project which is entitled as prediction of lung cancer using convolutional neural networks which is an IEEE 2023 conference paper. So before seeing the execution of the project let me be brief about this project. So we all know that cancer is a very dangerous disease that is spreading all over the world and there are many types of cancers available and lung cancer is one among the deadly disease which is increasing worldwide due to the environmental pollutions or smoking kinds of things so we need to have a scientific approach for prediction of the lung cancer so the yearly prediction or the exact prediction of the lung cancer will be sure helpful for the patients or we can prevent the death due to the lung cancer so in this base paper the authors have used the deep learning model which is vgg16 architecture for the prediction of the lung cancer so they have used thousand images of chest scan images and they have achieved the accuracy of 77.62 percentage so now keeping this as an existing system so now let us develop the proposed model so our proposed system or algorithm or model is using developed using inception v3 architecture and the training accuracy the, we have achieved is 94 percentage and the validation accuracy that we have achieved is 93 percentage so here you can see the base paper title prediction of lung cancer using convolution neural networks or you can use our proposed project title that is deep lung net accurate lung cancer prediction using inception v3 based cnn on histopathological images so this is the base abstract of the IEEE base paper and our proposed project abstract which contains about the model that we are using that is inception b3 architecture and uh, you can see about the data set that we have used so the the data set that we have used contains histopathological images of lung so earlier in our project list or in channel we have the lung cancer detection but that was about the ct scan but this is not about the ct scan of the lung so this is about the histopathological images if you wanted the lung cancer using ct scan you can use that but this is uh, not about the ct scan this is about the histopathological images of the lungs so in this we have three classification that is benign and adenocarcinoma and we have the squamous carcinoma so this is this is the data set that we have used and it contains 15,000 images so in the existing system they have used only the thousand images but we are going to use around 15,000 images so the accuracy also we have improved so the training accuracy 94 and validation accuracy is 93 percentage so these things are mentioned in the proposed abstract and this is about the existing system and uh, this is the disadvantages of the existing system and proposed system and the advantages of the proposed system and uh, in the system architecture you can find the input that is a store pathological data lung image data set has been given and pre-processing feature selection made and inception v3 architecture is implemented and the predicted result with the three classification that i have intimated and the performance analysis and graph so this project is developed using python 10.9 and this is the reference of it so first let me show you the data set part so in the source code in the model folder you can find the data set folder which contain test train and validation so each test each folder contains about the three classes that i have mentioned you so first let me go to the training folder where you can see the adeno carcinoma so these are the images which contains around 3750 images of the class adenocarcinoma so these are the images of it this is a sample image of the data set and this is the second class benign 
so this is all this is also contain around 3750 images so this is a sample image of this class and final is the squamous carcinoma so this also contain 3750 images so this is a sample uh, image of this class so now let us execute the project before execution make sure that you have fulfilled the requirement that is mentioned in the requirement file with the exact version of the python on the library you install in your system so first copy the source code location go to your command prompt first go to the drive location where you have pasted the code in my case i have pasted in f drive so i'll go into the f drive first and type cd space and and paste the location that i have copied so now i have into the source code location now type python app.py and click enter and kindly wait for few minutes so now you can see the url just copy this url go to any of your browser i am going to firefox paste the url that we have copied so now you can see the home screen or welcome screen of the project with the project title prediction of lung cancer using convolution neural networks so just click this login menu so now it will be navigated to the login page so kindly note that this is a static login page because we have not used any database in the project so just enter the default username and password as admin and admin and then click the login button so now you can see the login success message and click okay so now it will be navigated to the preview part so where you need to upload the image and verify or predict the result of the lung cancer class and here many people ask me that what happens if we give some other images not the lung cancer some other images of the animal or object or a person image so it shows only the random result because we cannot able to train the model with all the images saying that this is not belong to lung so we have been trained up with only with the data set that we have trained up with so only give the input image that we have trained up with so first let me click the browse button and now go to the source code location so in the source code location you have the test data folder where we have the three classes so let me show you one by one so now let me give an image from the test data so this is the image that i have given as input and click submit so now it will be navigated to the prediction page so where you can see the picture result is adenocarcinoma so this is the image that i have given and you can see the prediction result of it so now let me check with other case so for that just click the preview menu again so now it will be navigated to the preview menu again so just select the browse button i'll go to the benign folder and let me select an random image and this is the image that i have selected now click submit and now you can see the prediction result is benign now let me go to the preview menu again and select browse button and go to the other case that is squamous carcinoma and let me give an image and then click submit and now you can see the predicted result is squamous carcinoma so now let me go to the preview menu again so in this type in this time i'll go to the train data folder so into the model folder data set so this time i'm not going to give the test data i'm going to check with the train data so let me go to the adenocarcinoma folder and randomly i will give an image and then give submit so now you can see the prediction result is adenocarcinoma so i'll go to the other folder squamous carcinoma i'll give a random image and then click submit and now you can see the picture result is squamous carcinoma so in this way you can check with the images that we have trained up with or in the test data folder so 
now let me move to the next part that is the performance analysis part so in the performance analysis part we'll be having the performance analysis parameter accuracy precision recall and f measure value so in the accuracy you can see the accuracy of the project is 93.9 percentage precision is 98.6 percentage recall is 93.9 percentage and f measure of 93.9 percentage and kindly note that this is a static so this is does not varies based on the input that you are going to give because this is being predicted from the model code that we have developed in the back end in the python and next comes the confusion matrix so confusion matrix contains about the true and the predicted label of the three classes that is adenocarcinoma benign and squamous carcinoma this is about the confusion matrix and final comes the chart part and this is kindly note that this is also a static chart because this is not a dynamic one because this does not varies according to the input that we are going to give this chart has been predicted from the model code that we have developed in the back end and this chart contains two chart that is model loss graph and the model accuracy graph so in the model loss graph you can find the loss with the epochs that we have trained up with and in the model accuracy we have the accuracy with the epochs part so this is about the chart that contains model loss and the model accuracy part and now let me log out and this is all about the project prediction of lung cancer using convolution neural networks and thank you for watching